Giving light, changing lives. That's the motto of the Scripps Howard Foundation, and it's a reflection of its journalistic values and commitment to communities. Tonight, we honor journalists for exposing things the public wouldn't have otherwise known, like abuses in the foster care system and wrongful imprisonments and dental dangers right here in Arizona. We honor their coverage of events like the church murders in Charleston and for investigating police shootings. Our winners shed light on some of 2015's most talked about news stories. We're recognizing a new breed of digital journalists who explain the impact of the heroin epidemic by using data to create a fictitious town of addicts and a legacy media investigation into how technology firms fudge their finances to gain investors. Our winners helped us understand what happens if we die alone and put a face on some of the most gripping stories we hear about every day, like the Syrian refugee crisis. Public records are going to be more open in Massachusetts because a team of journalists were relentless in pushing for it. And the residents of Flint, Michigan, gained support due to the words of an opinion writer who demanded that the government do better. And maybe Ebola won't claim as many lives in the future, now that the World Health Organization has been held accountable. The Scripps Howard Foundation is proud of its motto, and tonight we are equally proud to honor these journalists who bring those words to life. Welcome to the 63rd Scripps Howard Awards presentation. And now, please welcome Foundation President and Chief Executive Officer Liz Carter and President and Chief Executive Officer of the E.W. Scripps Company, Rich Bainey. <laughs> 